This week we're going to learn how to use declarative plotting along with regular matplotlib commands that you're used to to create a map that shows not only surface observations, but a surface analysis. Welcome to another MatPy Monday. Hello, I'm John Lehman, a software engineer for Unidata. On this week's MetPy Monday, I want to take a bunch of skills that we've learned in prior MetPy Mondays and put them together to make a map that uses both the declarative and non-declarative plotting interfaces. To start off with, we're going to need to get some METAR data, and we have a video on how to do that. From siphon.catalog, I'm going to import threads data server catalog. I'm going to create an instance of the Threads Data Server Catalog and point it to our Threads test server .unidata.ucar.edu slash threads slash catalog noaport port text metar catalog dot xml this is going to have one data set in it. So from cat.datasets, we're going to get that zero with item. And then we're going to download that to our local drive. From metpy.io, I'm going to import the parse metar file method. And then we can pass parse metar file the name of our data set, which is what that name is going to be on disk that we saved. And we have parsed METAR data in very short order. We'll look at data.columns as soon as that finishes parsing, so we'll know what fields we have and what they are called. Now that I've got my surface observation data, I want to get my surface analysis. And for that, we're going to use the WPC's Surface Bulletin. So from metpy.io, going to import the parse WPC Surface Bulletin method. Going to import urllib.request so we can get that bulletin. And from the built-in IO module, I'm going to import the bytes.io object. The URL for our WPC Surface Bulletin is wpc.incep.noaa.gov slash discussion slash CODSUS. Okay. And we're going to use the request library and a context manager To open that URL, and we'll call it response, and we're going to read the content of that bulletin into a variable called content. The context manager using with is just helpful because it closes out my resources when I'm done with them for me. And then I'm going to use the parse WPC surface bulletin method. We need to wrap content in bytes IO as that is what the surface bulletin method is expecting. Oh, we have a 404. Uh, it's discussions. And there are our front geometries and locations of highs and lows, though we're not going to use those in this particular example. So now we're ready to make our plot. And we have a lot of imports to do to make this plot, but I'm gonna to try to do most of them before we actually get to the plot code here. From date time, I'm going to need to import time delta and date time. I'm gonna import metpy.plots as mpplots. Import map pot, plotlib dot pyplot as plt. Import cartapy dot crs as ccrs. And from metpy dot 
plots. I'm going to import our styles of cold front, occluded front, stationary front, station plot, and warm front. And actually, we shouldn't need the station plot since we're not going to do the high and low plotting. All right, and now we're ready to actually make the plot. And what's gonna be neat about this is you'll see how you can use the declarative to do some things in very few lines, and things that you can't quite yet do with the declarative, like plotting these fronts, we can just revert back to plain old matplotlib. Let's start out by making our basic map. So we're going to need a map panel in the declarative plotting lingo. And then we need to put that panel in a panel container. All right, so our panel mpplots.mappanel. Our layout, we're going to have a single plot. The area is going to be covering the US. Projection, let's go with a Lambert Conic conformal projection. We'll put the coastline, country borders, and states on the plot. Uh, let's see, we don't need to add any plots to the panel yet. Let's set a title of METARs and surface analysis. Now we need to create a panel container. We'll set the size of that panel container to be 10 by 10 inches. And for the panels that are going to be in it, it's going to be a single panel called panel. And we can call panel container dot show. And there's our base map. So instead of writing everything all at once, I do like to first get my base map working, then add one layer, and then just keep adding layers and data on as I go. Okay, so we're ready to add our surface plots, our surface observations. It's going to be mpplots.plotobs. Obs.data is going to be our data data frame, or our data frame named data. The time, we're going to go with December 27th at 0z. The time window is going to be a time delta of minutes equals 15. So 15 minutes around that time. So 45 to 15 past. Any METAR that falls in that window will be plotted. There are no levels for METARs as they are surface observations. So we'll set that to none. The fields that we're going to use, we can go back up here and look at the names of them as the columns of our data frame, or the names of those data series. Our air temperature, dew point temperature, air pressure at sea level, cloud coverage, and current WX1 symbol. The locations for these, which remember are going to be around the center of our station plot, are going to be the northwest corner, the southwest corner, the northeast corner, the center, and west. The colors, we'll go with red for temperature, green for dew point, black for air pressure, black for cloud coverage, and blue for the weather symbol. 
What about the formats? And we don't need anything special for temperature or dew point. I'm going to use a lambda function. Format 10 times V point zero F minus three. And that's going to give us the pressure in our standard format that we like to see on surface plots. We're using the sky cover style and the current weather symbols as the format. And we do have a video that goes into more detail if some of this is a little confusing and you haven't seen it before. Okay, we're gonna add a vector field is going to be the eastward wind and the northward wind. And to reduce the number, since we're plotting the whole US, we're going to use reduce points of four to reduce the number of stations that we see. Now to our panel, we need to add that data. Panel.plots. We add the OBS plot. Now we run this, and there we've got our METARs plotted. So really, though that was a lot of typing, most of it was just bookkeeping and nothing that involved to get a pretty nice looking plot here. But now I want to plot fronts on it from the WPC analysis, and there's not a declarative way to do that. So how can I do this? Well, right here, after I've added my panel to the panel container, I'm going to get a hold of my axis object by calling panel.x. And now I can call plot functions on that just as I would on any other matplotlib axes. And anybody that's written Python for a while is going to tell you that a lot of Python is finding examples that do close to what you want to do and then modifying them. So we've written our map, but if I go to the MetPy example gallery, there's a plotting fronts example. And while I don't need everything from it, I can take the section that actually does the front plotting, and let's drop it right in here. We'll use Shift-Tab to unindent there. I don't want to plot high and low locations, so I can delete that. It's always good, of course, to read through code and make sure you understand it, but this saves a lot of typing, and when you're doing an analysis, you're trying to get your analysis or your plot. You're not trying to retype an example. Okay, so we've got our warm, cold, occluded front, stationary front, trough styles defined. We're not going to plot the high and lows on this map. Okay, and our data is called fronts. Okay, let's run the example. And there we go. So in less than a minute, by going to the example gallery, pasting in a chunk of code and doing a couple of modifications with a quick read through, we're able to put fronts in a non-declarative way on a plot that was made using the declarative interface, pulling data from real live METARs. I hope that you found this useful, and I'll see you on next week's MetPy Monday.